Somewhat on my channel, there was an interesting video that caused an ambitious reaction. Someone was shocked and said it was terrible, and someone still asked to repeat it. So for those who ask for these types of videos, here there is one of it. Fake news. Attention. These are the news that don't exist. They're fake. They're not true. Everything here is a fiction. The video was made only in order to dream and entertain all of us. Your main task is to smile and write in the comments your fictional news that you would like to happen in the real life, or just the most ridiculous or unusual ones that will come to your mind. Well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's get 2000 subscribers before my birthday. If everyone who watches my videos subscribes, it will happen even earlier. Well, and let's get started. So, the latest news from the world of rhythmic gymnastics is that the quarantine has ended and finally the first competitions were held. Gymnasts from all over the world came to them. Fans and athletes were definitely hungry for the competition. The organizer of the competitions did not quarantine in vain and introduced something interesting into the judging and the evaluation system. Viewers can now see what elements and difficulty count for the gymnasts, and people in the hall can follow this on the big screens. Now the rating system became open for the viewers. Well, the gymnasts were pleased with the new discoveries. From interesting facts, of course, is that Alexandra Soldatova returns to the carpet. She performed excellent today. Of course, everyone is happy to see that Sasha has managed to recover and will now compete in full force for a ticket to the Olympics. And I must say that she has great chances. After all, she won the gold medal in the all-around. And Anastasia Salas from Belarus climbed the podium right after her. Also, an unexpected and pleasant joy. But the Averina sisters failed to start. The girls took only 4th and 5th place. Kristina Pogranichnia from Ukraine won the bronze. Meanwhile, an international tournament was held in Italy, at which other Russian gymnasts performed. And there, Daria Sergaeva won the gold medal, overtaking more titled athletes, and even her teammate Lala Kramarenka, about whom they thought that she would take all the goals of the tournament. Gymnasts from Italy, Sofia Rafael, won the bronze. Ekaterina Selezneva completed her career and married a famous TV presenter. Of the curious facts, the wedding was very modest. The guys just flew to the Dominican Republic where they got married on the ocean. And here, there is another interesting new. Alina Kabaeva returned to sports, not as an athlete that many might have thought, but as a coach. Alina opened her gymnastics schools in Moscow and now coaches little children. To the question of whether she plans to lead the girls to the Olympic medals, Alina answered that she wants to work with little children and does not even think about preparing them for the Olympics. The famous gymnast Ulyana Travkina finally got to the top team and is now on par with everyone, preparing for the Olympics in Tokyo. By the way, the Olympics were again rescheduled, but already to the old dates. Athletes in August 2020 will compete for the Olympic medals. The first number of the Russian national team has already been selected, and it is Daria Trubnikova. She's already traveling to Tokyo for 100%. But for the second number in Russia, as usual, there is not a comic fight. Wow, these are such fantasies that periodically fly in my head. Write your weirdest fantasies, it will be interesting to read through them. Well, I hope this video has cheered you up and we'll see you in the next video. Remember that I love you all and for now goodbye. The video was translated and dubbed by Alexandra Sinitsa.